Well, in a, in a rigorous sense, we would define intelligent design as the, the, the theory that there are certain features of living systems and of the universe that are best explained by reference to the action of a designing intelligence rather than a purely undirected process such as Darwinian natural selection. Uh, in a more informal sense, you could say that uh, intelligent design is the idea that you can detect the activity of an intelligence in the effects that are left behind from that activity. If you go through the Dakotas and you see on the mountainside the faces of the presidents, you'll quickly recognize that a sculptor was involved in the formation of those, those shapes on the rocks, that it wasn't just uh, wind and erosion that are, are responsible for Mount Rushmore. And uh, inside the cell, we don't see little human faces, but we do see other indicators of intelligent activity, one of which is the presence of a four-character digital code that is inscribed along the spine of the DNA molecule. And my book, Signature in the Cell, argues that, that, in, that pr the presence of information is a signature of intelligence. It's a hallmark of intelligent design or mind, and therefore the discovery of that information is a decisive indicator of, uh, of prior intelligent activity in the origin of life.